what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city life Hey darling Hey sweetie We could get out of town See the beautiful world around You're probably sleepy, huh? And a very late night last night Gigi. You think I'll get close for the day? No, we both. Oh, you want to read some books? Leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Hey, how about are you ready to go do your potty training? No, but we got, you got a wet pull up on. We got to get you dry pull up. Where's that? This one. Well, you know what, Gianna? How about let's go ahead and get a new pull up on, okay? Because you're wet. We got to get you in a dry pull up. Oh, no. All right, I'll give you some privacy. Get your pull up on, please. Hey guys, good morning. We are finishing up some breakfast here. Kind of just making it an easy, low-key morning because there was actually a mix-up and we had a worker come to work on the house today. So it's kind of keeping us stuck here here until he's ready to leave but that's okay we're just keeping it casual we're kind of both coming off of some cold probably hear gianna coughing a little bit i made us the usual breakfast of eggs and avocado toast gianna did though wanted a quesadilla i let her enjoy that and relax on the couch for a more low-key start to the day you okay baby yeah <laughs> I feel bad. We will though be going to Target here soon. I want to go look at their like toddler girl pant options because we are starting to dabble in potty training and a lot of the leggings that Gianna has has just made it a little more difficult for her to get them on and off herself. I also want to share some potty training gear I've picked up to help us begin this process. I'm a total newbie to the potty training world so I will also be taking advice from you guys <laughs> like how do you even start I don't know but I'll show you what I picked up if this is your first time here I'd love to have you subscribe for more helpful and relatable motherhood content it should be a pretty normal and relatable day in the life of a stay-at-home mom and toddler and we're happy to spend it with you I'm gonna go do some dishes real quick before we head out the door Gigi I like your pants baby <laughs> That's why I want to go to Target to get her some new ones because they'll either end up inside out or they're just too hard to get on. So we'll see what we can find, right? Mm -hmm. I think we should be able to get going here soon. But before we go to Target, I want to show you the order I already placed. <laughs> on Target. I just ordered these bar stools for our kitchen pass-through. I've had my eye on it for a while and I got some like birthday money and we had some credit card cash back so got them on sale but I've been wanting them. I think they look so pretty and will give a cool coastal look to the kitchen. I just think they're gorgeous and they're actually like the Pottery Barn dupe like I'll show you. So this is the chair that Pottery Barn has. So I mean, in comparison, right? We're saving some money here, so. <laughs> but yeah, we'll probably put just two right there. It'll be good seating for just casual meals. And then when we're entertaining as well. What you got there, Gianna? What are you holding? A balloon, your heart balloon. We also finally ordered a mantle. So <laughs> those two little things are just trying to help us decide on the size that we're doing. I'll pop a picture in here. It's from Etsy, and so I think again it'll just really help to modernize and pull the whole space together. I'm super excited for these items and happy belated birthday to me. We can spend all day in bed. Alright, Gigi, we're in the parking lot, okay? Okay, you guys stay close to mama. 
Okay, thank you. We'll order in a bunch of food. I'll put your favorite music on all the way, baritone. Shut the lights, go in for a rain. Who's got the same shoe? <laughs> you do. Your favorite music gone all the way baritone. Okay, this is a little messy, so let mama do it, okay? Do it together. You can do it together. Yeah. Right, okay. You're using it like your hair dryer, like mama? one this week so maybe we just keep getting the old ones from like last season and we'll have to wait for the newer ones to come out but these bubble ones are fun when you get one that actually works maybe daddy will fix it when we get home okay which pup says let's dive in We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open Countryside is so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair. I don't always clean up Gianna's toys during her quiet time, but I feel like today it just got a little out of hand. So a quick tidy up, at least just contain everything in her playroom. But I thought sit down, <laughs> do some laundry, and chat a little bit about our potty training journey so far. It's definitely been nothing crazy but I just wanted to share some of like the tools that I did some research on and that would be a good start for us we mostly have just been practicing so far I know we're officially no longer in diapers and doing just pull-ups Gigi does not want to wear a diaper anymore just I think she just likes being able to um, put the pull-up on herself because she is little miss independent about everything these days so like we officially just switched over to like pull-ups brand pull-ups our first batch had princesses on it and then this one has Minnie Mouse I kind of like the princess one better because it had the two princesses on the front and nothing on the back but this one has like two Minnie Mouses so it's like maybe harder and more confusing for her to know which side is the front and which is the back, but she actually has been doing a very good job of getting herself changed as well as um, her pants back on. I actually have been very impressed um, that she's able to do all of that on her own, which is pretty cool. And that too is why I wanted to get those new pants from Target. I just feel like the little girl leggings, they're so, so tight around the feet like even sometimes when I'm trying to get them on her and I know it's been like a struggle for her to get her pants back on and oh here they are she has this like little blue pair of pants that she's been wearing more and more often and I, and I think because they're more of like a jogger style and like a looser around the ankle they're just easier for her to get on and off herself so I'm glad we were able to find a couple pairs from Target today I asked the worker where like the joggers were because I wasn't seeing them I was she was starting to put out like skirts and shorts and bathing suits for summer but luckily we scored a couple of pairs on clearance because look at that that is just I feel like so 
much stretchier and, and hopefully it will be easier for like Gianna to get her pants on and off all by herself. So they are originally $12 and I got them for $8.40 and they're actually the size 2T. I wanted to get 3T but they only had 2T or 4T so they're missing our size at least in the store but I thought these looked a little big actually and I read the reviews online and a lot of people did say they ran on the larger side even in like the waist but they're like super stretchy so we'll see I don't know if the length will fit her for that much longer but at least as we get into the warmer months um if she shows a little ankle that's okay and then I've been reading a lot about like potty training tips and tricks and there were mixed reviews about starting your kid off with one of those like little kid toddler size potties they seem to be easier for kids to use and get used to because they're just your size but then I was reading that you almost have to like retrain your kid how to go onto the the big potty so I was like well let's maybe just like bypass the little potty and I found this ladder potty chair instead another mom friend of mine has something similar it has like the little step and cushion seat so Gianna's able to set it up all on her own again I'm like pretty impressed that she she can do it <laughs> but she likes to set it up all herself, which is why I was looking for more of like a potty ladder instead of just the seat that would go on top of the adult size toilet. It's kind of like having just the two tools in one. So that's been really helpful to have and I'll link it down below for you and like the other stuff I've been mentioning too. We also have a potty training book that we've been trying to read a little more. I'll probably end up getting a couple more books. I know there's one that's like specifically for girls and I think just like seeing like a little kid do it in a book it really like resonates and makes more sense for Gigi when she sees it like that. So I might pick up like a couple more books to help like explain the process better in like a kid friendly way. I also read that it's like more helpful to tell your kid to push down their pants rather than I think it's just supposed to make a little more sense in the way they like understand things. So we've been pushing down our pants, pushing down our pull up, and with a lot of this stuff too, we've been doing a lot of practicing. So more so we're just kind of going through the motions of setting up the potty ladder, pushing down our pants, getting up the ladder, wiping, flushing, washing our hands, and then repeating the process. I'm glad Gianna's taken more of like an interest in wanting to start this, but I feel like we're just having trouble still with her communicating like when she actually has to go to the bathroom. Like she won't really tell me when she even has to pee and especially when she has to go number two. Um, it's very obvious <laughs> when she does it because it's usually in a corner and she wants to keep to herself. But yeah, even like with pee, she won't like tell me when she has to go. What is this? Oh, it's from my shoe laces. Put those there. So I've just been trying to have more like conversations about it and like asking her, hey Gianna, when you gotta go pee pee, tell mama and stuff like that. So this is my first time of course going through this. So I'm not really certain what approach to take, but I also feel like I just don't really want to push it right now because one, she might not be super ready yet. Maybe we just need to work on like communicating better and I hope that's for more of these like potty training books will come in handy. And two, honestly, I am just not in a super good headspace, mental space to even like force anything with her right now, especially if she's not ready. It kind of sucks feeling like I'm late to the game though because I feel like potty training is pushed so hard like when your kid turns two and so like right now Gianna's two and a half almost three and it just makes me feel like I'm behind but with losing my dad so recently and just been a lot of a lot of coping and honestly just trying to like process a lot of emotions and everything for our whole family because Gianna ever so randomly has been asking about her Papa Paul and it really it really catches me off 
guard. I feel like with my dad being so sick for as long as he was, um, four years with a stage four colon cancer diagnosis on my end, there was just like so much like anticipatory like grief and so I feel like I'm doing okay like right now because I was dealing with a lot of big emotions for like the last like many years and especially like months leading up to it and stuff. Trying to like hope for the best but also worrying and, and anticipating the worst. It just made life very hard and challenging but also just wondering if like every time would like be the last time. But it also made life more precious so I don't know grief is honestly just freaking weird and like the hardest part has just been realizing like I can't call him anymore and just like realizing that Gianna like can't grow up with him like Gianna's smart and she's asked about my dad many many times and it's so random when she does it which really really catches me off guard and I have cried many many tears but I'm grateful to just have a good support system and George has been such a lifeline for me my sisters my other family and friends but of course it's not easy and sometimes I just get hit with the emotions when I'm least expecting it I have been like trying to be careful with the way I explain things to Gianna because again I was kind of just like pulling this stuff out of my in thin air when it like first happened but I told her that Papa Paul you know had to move away and he had to go to heaven and I want to make her like a photo album of my dad and pictures of them together for when she's like you know can look at it while she grows up I'd like to make a whole video about like explaining heaven and that whole concept to like young children because I know it definitely has not been easy for me and it's just like a confusing time so but I want to definitely give some time to feel these emotions and to process things and give the heart some time to heal so potty training might have to just be put on hold which I honestly I am okay with and I was talking to George about all of this and he made a good point which was that it might actually even be easier <laughs> to try to do potty training closer to Gianna's birthday in the summertime or like after she turns three because it'll be warmer weather and she can even wear shorts or bathing suits and that just might be easier um, for her to get on and off as well and she'll be older and her muscles will be stronger and hopefully be able to understand more so we are taking a very slow and steady approach to potty training so if you are here for it I am happy to share more updates with you guys and I did want to give a quick shout out to these pants I'm wearing they have been so comfortable they're like buttery smooth I just got them from airy for my birthday i had like a birthday coupon and they were already like 30 percent off so such a good deal and i'll link them down below because i am so picky about how things fit me around the waist but these like do not cut into you at all and hug you in all the right places these are the hip huggered flared leggings from airy but it cracks me up that they call them that because i'm like no it's a yoga pants, <laughs> but whatever. I really like them though, if you are looking for something similar. Hello, Ramona. I can't shake the simplest feeling beyond the ghost. Gigi, what's this one's name? Avery. <laughs> Avery Mallory. So it's funny, my sister's names are Avery and Mallory, but we usually see them together. So we'll say we're seeing Avery and Mallory. And I think Gianna thinks it's just like one person and one name. <laughs> they do look very similar though. So she calls her little doll Avery Mallory, because it's like one person. <laughs> one, two, three. One, two, one chocolate. Daddy! Daddy! Daddy's home. Daddy's home. Hi! Hi! Hello! Can I come in? 
It's just about five o'clock and I'm gonna start getting dinner ready here. Gianna is reaching that point where she's just getting very, very cranky without a nap. So hopefully she'll go down a little earlier and smoother tonight. So make some Asian chicken stir fry for dinner. Keep it easy, keep it simple. George is home, freshly showered. So. Thanks for spending the day, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Hot hubby entrance. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, what's going on? Hello, Ramona. I mistook you for a dream.